Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out a company with a little something old and a little something new to offer you. All right, we're going to be checking out Bam Box Fella. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you for joining me. And we're doing a little company uh, product review here, company spotlight, if you will, for a new company. But I said it was a little something old and a little something new. And we're talking about Bandbox Fella today. And uh, if you saw the, uh, the little bottles here, little green bottles, you may remember um, a company that had these little green bottles because it's the only company that I knew of and that was Chronic Beard Company. So they're doing a little bit of a rebrand and they're renaming uh, their company Bandbox Fella um, and they've changed a, a little bit of stuff with their blend. They're offering some CBD products now uh, but this was one of my favorite feeling beard companies from 2020. Uh, I had the munchies scent and both the oil and their um, butter felt phenomenal had a lot of hemp seed in it that's where the chronic came from uh, it's got the you know got a leaf logo on their um on their branding and they were having a little bit of issues uh with uh, being able to do all the things that they wanted to they were kind of being restricted a little bit um on social media platforms and those kind of things so mike's mike's a good guy mike's the owner he's out of tennessee so they're rebranding as band box fella um so I've got uh, three, four oils. Uh, well, you know, five if we put the other one back in here because the munchy scent is coming back. Um, the rest of these are new scents. So we've got, I've got an unscented, which is Nada. We've got uh, Hellbent and we've got uh, Remix and we've got Motown. So I'm gonna be telling you about all of those, uh, giving you the breakdown. I also have the, uh, the matching butters for all that. And that is now in a big, four ounce container. Mike used to do the, the little two ounce tins. I really like this four ounce green jar. We've got a theme going on for that. So as far as prices go, I feel like you're really getting a good deal on this, just the base price um, on this. So the oil is $15 uh, and super high quality. We'll talk about the ingredients in just a minute. Uh, a four ounce butter is $18. That's a phenomenal deal. You can get both of these for $32. Uh, that is a great deal right there. Um, guys, I'm also an affiliate, so you can save 15% with the uh, code BANJO15. Uh, and also, if you hit the $60 mark, you get um, free shipping. So take advantage of that. And all of these scents are very good. Uh, I would recommend all of them. We'll talk about them in a minute. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you, it does have a CBD line, and that's going to be called the Chronic line. So it's still going to be in there. Uh, right now, he's got one scent out. It's called The Message. So that's a brand new scent as well. Uh, it sounds to me like, like a really good spring kind of scent. I mean, we're all hoping for spring these days. Uh, but it's bergamot, mandarin, fresh mint, clary sage, musk, wood, and tonka bean uh, and that sounds really good uh, i have not tried any of the cbd products uh, from from any beard company yet so i have a feeling i'll be trying some before the year's out and kind of giving you my take and feeling on uh, whether i can tell a difference and whether it's worth the additional price on that but uh, it, these products both the butter and the oil contain 500 milligrams of broad spectrum cbd the oil goes for 25 the butter goes for 30 and you can get a combo for 54 which is just about the price of a, a, a high quality combo that doesn't have um, CBD in it. So once again, you can still save 15% with Banjo 15 as well. All right, so the ingredients besides the CBD the, that's in those uh, two products is hemp seed, jojoba, uh, sweet almond, meadow foam seed, argan, and then your essential and fragrance. So that is your oil blend, your carrier oil. And then for the butter, it adds in shea butter, uh, hemp seed butter, and um, non-GMO soy. So great feel in beard. The original Chronic line was a great feel in beard, and so is this one. I can't tell tons and tons of difference, but it was already on my top, uh, my top feel in beard companies already. Uh, maybe if you've tried both, you can tell me if you can tell a, a huge difference. Uh, some of the other guys I've talked to said that it's, it's even better. Um, 
Let's talk about the scents. So uh, the scents that I have is unscented, which is called nada. I love unscented stuff. I wear a lot of unscented at night, um, butters and those kind of things. Um, let's go through the ones uh, here. Probably the strongest one is Hellbent, and that is dark leather, um, sweet pipe smoke, and Cuban tobacco. All right, so you get a leather tobacco leather kind of scent. Um, I'm not I'm not huge on leather and I'm not huge on smoke and it's just a little bit of each one because I can I can say even if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of leather you're not a fan of uh, a smoke kind of scent that's just a part of a really good blend here neither one of those dominate uh, to me it's a good tobacco leather kind of scent and that's a sort it's dark leather but you get a little bit of sweetness from it so if you like cherry tobacco scents if you like cherry uh, tobacco and leather scents I think hell bent you would really dig. And like I said, I, I dig all of these scents that I've tried, including the munchy scent, which was, uh, it was like ice cream, vanilla ice cream kind of scent. It's a vanilla sweet kind of scent, and it's coming back. So uh, if you uh, liked uh, that from the original Chronic uh, Beer Company, you're going to like it from uh, Bam Box Fellow as well with a slightly different blend. And then you can compare and see if they make a, uh, you can tell a big difference or not. So next up, we've got Motown. And Motown is a rich and soulful bourbon cologne. And it is is a pretty good kind of scent. Yeah, you get the bourbon, but it's, a, it's the sweet bourbon. It's not real spicy. I don't get a spicy bourbon. And then you get that cologne back note, and it all kind of plays very well together. So if you like bourbon scents, you like kind of cologne scents, this is more the smooth and sweet bourbon and cologne mix. Uh, really good. I, I enjoy that one. That one might be my favorite. It's kind of hard to tell. I think I need to go back through them all again and see if I can come up with a favorite. I haven't tried some of these very many times yet. Um, and now we've got the remix. So the remix is um, a sweet citrus cologne. And uh, it's not just your plain citrus anymore. Mike's done a really good job on this. So you get the, the citrus is more of an orangey um, kind of scent. And then you get the back note of cologne and it plays very well uh, together. So once again, that would be kind of your perfect um, spring, summer kind of scent, if you will. All right. And then, like I said, the uh, uh, the munchy scent's coming back. He's got the message. I know he's got a lot more things playing. He, Mike has done a, a, a lot of work behind the scenes to make this thing possible. Um, he also has um, a co-wash and the co-wash is very reasonable as well. It was how much was the co-wash? It was $14, and it doesn't say on the bottle. It looks like it's a four-ounce bottle, and that just comes in the unscented uh, right now. Uh, so check that out and see. I haven't tried that one yet. That was the only product uh, that I haven't tried besides the, the CBD line. I haven't tried that yet. He's got a few hats. I know he's got a lot of things coming. The website's looking good. Nice, uh, nice sleek look to that. So check out the website. You can remember you can use the code Banjo15 to save any more, uh, even more off of what I consider to be very competitive uh, prices already. Awesome feel and beard. Let me know in the comments if you tried Chronic, and if so, what was your favorite Chronic scent? Because I know some people like the Santa's. It's called Santa's Pipe. I tried that one. It was a little bit strong for me. Uh, the Munchies. If you had another one, uh, Shatterfly, I think, may be coming back. I think that was a cologne scent, or I think maybe Shatterfly was mixed up with one of these. I think it might be the remix. He put some citrus with Shatterfly and got the remix, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please check out Bam Box Fella. Go support Mike. He's a good dude uh, for sure. And we'll see you in the next video.